is Alan. Now, pregnancy can take a lot out of a woman, but by far the toughest part is the birth. Jungian psychotherapist Benig Morget believes that the birthing experience has a profound effect on women and that negative birthing experiences leave wounds on the soul. Howard Benning says the wounds can be overcome, and she's here to tell us how. Welcome. Good morning. Good morning. Um, you say that basically giving birth is a soul experience or should be and, and if it's not and if you're traumatized by that that it can be very negative but that you should through workshops which we'll talk about in a few minutes that you can actually get over that explain to me a, what exactly would be a negative birth experience are you saying the reg you know if you have a, a bad birth or a lot of pain or prolonged labor yes it's really when I'm talking about that it's really when we talk about a bad birth or sp I suppose as women would subjectively feel it it's more to do with how they feel about the experience you know they might have had a normal birth uh, or they might have had a lot of technology or a cesarean or something but generally speaking it's a birth in which women feel that uh, the um, they've been disempowered in some way that they've been out of control that the that the uh, um, medical intervention has been to the extent that they feel um, you know damaged and sometimes if, if it's quite severe it kind of interferes in the natural process and they can feel uh, dislocated from the baby particularly if you've had a general anesthetic but a lot of women will go for that I mean having an epidural straight away you want to be disconnected that's a choice you make yourself some women do but a lot of them don't want to do that and a lot of them feel uh, once they get into a hospital I'll give you an example you know you, you'd be preparing for birth and you, you're quite excited about it and everything else and you go in and uh, you want to actually it's a natural process deep down so most women know that um, and they, they want to try and give birth as naturally as possible but the environment and the technology and the way things are sometimes can make it hard for women to actually stick with that and then they start um, you know having one intervention then one intervention will, will come to another one and and, and to the to the point where they feel that they no longer um, that the whole experience is taken away from them and it's quite deep it's a deep psychological wounding now not everybody feels it because some women as you say make the choice to have a, uh, to have an epidural but and it's not about epidurals per se it's about the whole experience mm. particularly when um, a, a woman what, what I found in my work anyway and, and, and wrote about it in the books is that when women are not and I had I've had three children and when I had my first child this happened to me when women are not actually awake or anesthetized when their child is born they can feel very very hurt about that I remember when I had I had um, a forceps for my first child a long time ago and I won't say how long it was but um, he his he was turned in the wrong way and so I had to have a general anesthetic and I was doing fine before that so I didn't see the baby being born and when I woke up I really needed to feel uh, that I kept asking people did you see the baby being born because are you sure this, this is my baby was that what, kind wasn't of... so much are you sure this is my baby it's like the experience is so natural within us nature is like that that to actually feel that I had done it I'd given birth and the baby and I were together in this so I mean, that's just one example but a lot of women feel uh, quite damaged and it's very deep and as I'm a therapist I work with with this area rather more than you know people who've had good birth experiences although in the workshop we're going to uh, look at how you can help overcome these feelings <laughs> The, I mean, again, it's a very tricky area for a man because, let's face it, we're, you know, interested spectators at, at, at best in, in, in the experience. I'm father of four and I've been there at the birth of all of them. Yes. Um, I know that my wife, first time out, Audrey, um, said that she wanted to do it naturally. Once the, the contraction started, they were so severe, she said, I want an epidural. Oh, now, yes. I, I believe, technically, she shouldn't have had it, but she wasn't taking no for an answer, so yes. they gave it to yes. her. And then from there on in, she said, never again. First thing, I'll have epidural tattooed yeah. on my forehead. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's, that's what I hear from a lot of yes. my friends who have yeah. given birth recently, yeah. that, you know, would go in with that yeah. attitude and in the hope of being able to do it without that. But then either... And, you know, this is another element these days, is how people are rushed into cesarean so quickly. I know, and that has become, that's an issue of concern because, as you know, the other part of my work is about looking at the formative impact of life in the womb for the baby. Yeah. Um, and uh, it, it is an area of concern that cesareans in America, for example, uh, you know, are a matter of choice almost. You know, 
you elective. Know, uh, yeah, elective. You know, don't uh, you know, don't damage the vagina kind of thing. Just keep yourself nice and the neat. The two parts to push. Uh, syndrome yes, that sort of thing. Yeah. And it, it actually has an effect on the child as well. I was a cesarean, by the way, but that was because my mother had. Um, uh, uh, I was very premature. My mother had uh, a condition that I had to be taken out very quickly. But psychologically speaking, there are effects from that. Yeah, so essentially, but, but I mean, there are thousands, hundreds of thousands of women who, who have these births uh, yes. in, in the sort of accepted way. And, and are you trying to say, or are you saying, that they are carrying emotional scars that they may not even know or, or understand or quantify some unease within themselves about that birth experience that manifests itself in other ways or is there is there a way that they can is there a checklist that they can do and say I feel like this because oh because it's something to do with the way or I is it birth. or is it something to do with you know do you do you, um, equate this to maybe postnatal depression or is there yeah. it's is much, it intertwined yeah it's very subtle and it's not a question of oh I mean some people feel fine Mm. You know, and it's not a question of, oh, I've got to dig deep to see if I really do feel like that. No, it's not like that. But a lot of women feel uh, depressed for no reason afterwards or, you know, very low in themselves. And they've no, no accepted way to talk about it because they're told, well, I mean, what are you talking about? You've got a lovely baby. I mean, you know, he's grand. Uh, yeah, but deep down there's a feeling of hurt. Mm. And, you know, uh, often see the re reason I'm running this workshop as well is because um, there's much more of an awareness now in women of um, being able to try and give birth the best way that they can because it impacts on their relationship with the babies so a lot of the time then it's just a question of of acknowledging that you have those feelings and talking about them and you mm -hmm. can get rid of it is is one of the great myths that women are, are brought up to accept that once your child is born healthy with all its fingers and toes and all its faculties that no matter what you went through to get to that stage, it's all right then. So that's fine. That's all part of the process. And you should be grateful for that and, and not question anymore. Yeah, but you see, if you think about it, Mark, I mean, the thing is that uh, why do people come to therapy sometimes? They come because uh, there's no obvious reason. It might be, I feel bad inside, my relationship's broken down, I feel lonely. These are things that are internal to us, the part of our soul, if you like. So. Uh, yeah, the, the whole the culture around it maybe doesn't help in that. Well, why are you miserable? You know. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but the, the thing about it is, is the importance of it just, particularly when you're going on to have another baby. Sometimes it can be so traumatic that it can prevent you from wanting to get pregnant again. Well, yeah, I know some people like that to say never ever again mm -hmm. after yes. having a, a difficult birth, I know. which could end up in a cesarean or, or yes. that they want an epidural and they can't or it's too yes. late or whatever. Yes. I just want to ask you just just to, what you talked about briefly earlier on that babies can be traumatized after a cesarean. How would that manifest itself? Well, when I say that, it's not so much traumatized any differently than they are in normal birth. Mm. There's always a natural. It's more that, uh, there's, it's, again, it's the disconnection between the mother and the baby. That the, often you're separated. I mean, if there's a general anesthetic, there's a separation. And so sometimes that work happens afterwards between the mother and the baby. Okay. There's a bonding, bonding. That okay. sort of happens. Okay, well, look, this is, this, these seminars are, are for people who are interested in the whole subject in, in general, not just, you know, birth scars or tra trauma. I mean, yes, there's all positive aspects. Working within well. the field. It's, it's Saturday, yes. Okay, it's called Healing Birth, Saturday the 1st of July, uh, 9.30 to 5.30 p.m., Teachers Club in Parnell Square, tickets 95 euro, and uh, telephone number there, website, uh, www.soul. Lovely picture. Soul. <laughs> Lovely it is picture. actually a gorgeous it picture. It is, yeah. It's what, it's, it's what life is about, actually, I yes, suppose, isn't it? it is. You're right. Benic Moje, pleasure as always. And, oh, by the way, Benic's uh, current book is uh, Healing Birth, Birth and the Soul, which is available on Good Work uh, Bookshops. Now...